Okay guys, 2020 Camaro Z01 1LE, here to hit you with another video. I'm doing this video on the, uh, just a small review on 3,500 miles on the car. And the biggest issue that I have with the uh, review on this car after getting 3,500 miles. I got about 3,700, so I'm a little late. But anyway, uh, like I said, Doing a little review on the car just letting you know some of the issues that i see with it and one of the biggest issues of course we all know is the track slicks as you can see uh the, the car like i said has about 3700 miles you can see the tires are really pretty worn but it's still some uh rubber on them so what i'm planning on doing is I'm going to, you can see the tire here. Actually, I've ordered some new tires and I think they should be coming in, I think it's Thursday. I gotta double check, because I just ordered them last night. So I'm gonna double check and see. Uh, as you can see too, the car's really pretty dirty, but I'm gonna talk about that in another little video that I'm gonna do today too, about the car and about keeping it clean after the uh, ceramic coating. But, so back to what I'm saying about 3,500 miles. To be honest, there's no real issue with this car. I mean, only thing is the, the tires. And of course, I know they knew they were track slicks when I bought them. And I told you guys in one of my previous videos, I was gonna ride them until I can't ride them anymore. So the weather is still, it's getting a little bit better here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some new tires. I think you call, the ones I'm getting, I think you call them uh, hey, Hanku or something like that. I'm gonna get those this month and then probably in june may or june i'm gonna actually go with the mission uh pilot sport 4s i think that's what they call they're a little bit more expensive tire i don't want to get those right now because i'm gonna be going to a lot of different meets and i'm gonna actually start trying to uh you know meet some of the youtubers so i want to have the really nice nice tires when i do that so um that's why I'm going to go ahead and get these cheaper tires now. They cost probably, putting them on, probably about 1200 bucks. But the Michelin ones, I think, putting them on and everything is about 16, 1700 bucks. So I'm going to get the cheaper ones now to ride around in with, you know, because I know the weather's still not as great right now. So I'm going to go with the cheaper tires. Anyway, I will do a video on those when I get them and I'll tell you what I think about those tires. I've actually seen them on Corvettes. So I'm going to give them a shot. But anyway, um, like I said, there's no real issues with the car at 3,500 miles. I actually get pretty good gas mileage considering. Um, like I said, there's it's a little dirty, but I, I mean, there's no issues. There's nothing, you know. Only thing, as you can see here, getting in and out of the car is kind of tight. So you'll see the little scuffs on it. But really, to be totally honest, there's no real issues with this car at uh, 3,500 miles. Um, I'm still enjoying it. I still like the car. Uh, I'm not planning on getting rid of it anytime soon. I've seen a couple of YouTubers trade theirs in, but hey, this car is not going anywhere. It will be on the channel until I get my next car, which will be, I don't know, three to five years or so, I guess. I don't know, but it's still going to be a lot of things coming up with the car, um, different mods, everything. If you got any questions, get in the comment section about anything you want to know, any issues. Uh, one other issue it seems like I don't know um, seems like this front tire wears more than the other one so I don't know if that's an alignment issue but it shouldn't be I don't think it should be one of my youtubers was actually mentioned something about that uh, before but either way I'm gonna go ahead and when I get the tires and get a new alignment I may take it to uh, someone that specializes in doing different types of alignments just to see, you know, get the best one I can instead of just a regular 89, 99, you know, alignment. But um, like I said, guys, I mean, I have really enjoyed the car and I have no issues with it. You know, it, it, it's just a, a, a good car. I can't complain. So I was going to do a little review, but really it's nothing to really talk about that I hadn't talked about in my other video. But like I said, everything's holding up the seats. There's no issues with any kind of stitching or anything with the car lights everything's uh you know uh 
spoiler splitter everything it's no there's no issues with it whatsoever i'm i'm really happy about it so i just want to hit you with a quick video just letting you know even the tent i don't see anything with the tent the guys uh you know they put on that dealership for me um i don't, I don't see any there's no issues with it only issue like i said too is the tires and you know keeping it clean so i'm gonna do another quick video on how to keep it clean and some of the things the supplies i bought and what I'm waiting on to be able to wash it myself. So, with that being said, 2020 ZL1 Winter out, guys. I appreciate you guys with your support, subscribing, watching my videos. Really appreciate it. So, thanks a lot.